I'm gonna hit you so hard you won't see nothing ever, 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 ever. Audio skills all day, all day. The merit science is correct. 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 You can't have no- yes. All right. Well, <laughs> I'm glad you did that. Who are you, a fucking Asian kung fu instructor? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> well, maybe in my previous life, I maybe. Was a, maybe I was a kung fu well, instructor. Like said. <laughs> well, but, well, maybe maybe that's where you learned it from. You learned it from me in a previous life. I didn't, I didn't learn anything. I, I didn't learn it from Kill Bill. You don't remember that Kill Bill 2? Yeah. Dude, those movies are dope. But you know what else is dope, Jared? Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 128. Look at this guy's shirt. 128 episodes of this year, <laughs> Mad Scientist Lab podcast. As always, it is I, RJ, the pizza guy. That's the opener. Along with Jared, the visual mad scientist. Hello, Jared. Jared says hello to the people in only so many words that he likes to do. Yeah, sign language. Zero. Zero words because, uh, you know... Uh, socializing in this day and age is a little odd, just like my shirt. And, fair, and, fair, and, fair. and at most times, worthless. Uh, depends on who you're talking to. I agree. Uh, a lot of worthless, wor- worthless conversations I've been having late uh, in recent years. In recent years. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so I'm glad I'm one that you like to have conversation with, or you either just tune me out like... Um, like you normally do when we're in public, but that's okay. Well, ho, 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 ho. No, 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 no. You don't tune me out in public. I tune you out sometimes because I'm, this is the truth, because you'll just ramble about something that's like, oh, I lost interest like five minutes ago when you were say, telling me the same thing you told me yesterday. I think the reason I do that is because I know that you're not listening, and I want to see how far I can go with it. I don't think that's the, I don't think. No, well, I don't know. Man, I'm, an, I'm an emotional person. I, ha- I am passionate. I have feelings. I fuck up things sometimes, and I am smart, and I am, I am worthy. Does that, was that good? Sure. No, right. okay. All right. Well, Jared, let me ask you a question, man. What? Before I forget, how many what? knees does a man have? How many what? Knees. Uh, this, uh, this feels like some kind of trap. It's not a trap. Because if it was a trap, I would tell you, it's a trap. Who you fucking guy from Star Wars? Exactly. It's a trap. Dude. So anyway, so I know Jared's not going to attempt to guess how many knees a man has. Because you're setting me up for some bullshit. Because a man has three knees. He has one knee, two knee, and a weenie. Do you like it? Oh, this was the dad joke you told me? This was the dad joke I was talking about. Uh, Now I see. Does it? You know what? I just noticed something. What? I didn't shave today. You didn't shave today. Yeah. That's okay. Uh, it's a good reason for that, because uh, that joke was horrible. Well, okay, well, as I tell horrible dad jokes on this show, as we continue to roll the ball here on the match. Keep trying, side, though. I, I'm, well, that was, I'll, I'll think of something along the way. Coming out on uh, this coming Tuesday, March 29th at uh, Shooter's Sports Bar and Grill. The one that you for, told me to share, or you shoot me in the leg? Yes. Open mic night. Well, I will be there after work. And for all you pussies who keep telling me, oh, I'm going to come out, I'm going to come out, you're coming out. Uh, Jared said, please, get the sand out of your vagina with a douchebag, because that's what those do. They clean vaginas. Um, yeah, just come on out to the show down at Shooters here in Springfield. Nice little hole in the wall, <clears throat> which I was in last night uh, with one eye opened, um, because that's what happens in that place. With one eye open. Oh, oh, oh. You know... I was talking to a good friend of mine. I think I'm going to go try to see Creed. I, I, first of all, hold up. I, you can't have that many good friends of yours. I have a lot of good friends. I'm that the pizza man. Mm, are they good friends? Or are they associates? Or I, I don't know. I, I think when you label people like that. Oh, it, here he goes. Not, well, hold on. I'm Hold on. Hear me out. I understand what you're saying. But if you're willing to talk to me and have conversation with me on a personal level, then I consider you a good friend. Eh, I gotta have more than one conversation with a person. I know, but this is somebody that I know personally. It's not just one person. Look, if I just met you and I tell you some shit. Okay, so what constitutes 
a good friend. Oh, hmm. oh you you said just having a conversation well, constitutes well, well, a good well, friend. Well, no, and I, I know that sounds bad, right? Just as bad as a shirt. Yeah, it Fairfax sounds like you have County, no boundaries. OG, baby. It sounds like you have no boundaries. Sometimes I don't. Yeah, that's a problem. You know? People, you, people who, if you don't have boundaries, people will take advantage of you. Uh, being taken advantage of. Something but, we all but, know. But people who can't, who can't take your, if, when you enforce your boundaries, people who can't take them, that's when... It's like, oh, you're the bad guy because you did this. Like, no, I told you I was not going to accept your bullshit, and now you're upset because I'm calling you out on it. You know what's crazy? I have a story for that, but for another time, my friend. Oh, okay. I, I have a very good story. I thought for we that. were doing a podcast here. We are doing a podcast, but I'm mind. just not trying to be, uh, you know, as you like to say, throwing out governments and this, this, and that. Nobody said you had to say names. Does this person know you're talking about them? <sighs> no, Possibly. Possibly. Okay. I, I, I will say possibly. Moving on. What, no, were, no. what were you saying? Um, what I was going to say is that... Hold on. Let me grab my beer. No, so what constitute a good friend? A good friend, like me and you, we will, we will tell each other things, we will argue with one another, and we will accept the fact that we are friends and that this is what it is. Mm-hmm. And that's what a good friend is. But at the same time, if you meet somebody or if I've known somebody for a while... You know, I don't just go tell everybody my business. I, I, I don't do that. Okay. Uh, maybe just a little you know, dibble dabble here and there. Like, oh, this is who I am. I try to be as open as possible. But I mean, with your real feelings, there are certain people that you can trust. Me personally. And I can tell, like, I know I can tell you things. And I know you can tell me things. And, you know, that's fine. It's between us. And I have uh, a handful of other people. Like, I would say a small handful of other people that I can do that with. And I think what it is, is what I, my goal at the end of the day is to be as, as decent as an individual as possible, which is not cool nowadays, by the way. Don't, don't be nice. Be yeah, evil. I, I used to try to do that, but again, I, I think by trying to be a decent person, ah, yeah. Yeah. When you, when you when that's your goal, that's when you get taken advantage of because people can see that. Well, and they, uh, let, let, all right, let, all right, let, go ahead. Because I was, I used to have that same, like, you know what? I just want to be a good person. Like w- when I leave here, but however I leave here, I just want the people to think that, you know what? He was a good guy. And, but then at the same time, when you think, when you act, when you're doing that, that's again, you're dropping your boundaries and shit. And then people take that as a certain way. It's like, oh, I can get away with this on him just because I know he won't say shit. Do you think everybody is like that, though? Like the people uh, that you- I think humans in general are like that. Um, not everyone. I mean, some people understand. Like, okay, he doesn't want to, This is the boundary. He's told me what the boundary. Like a healthy person would be like, okay, I get it. Um, this is not a thing. And they won't keep poking and prodding at that particular thing. Yeah. It's like, yo, blah, 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 whatever it may be. I'm not giving an example because it could be anything. Okay. But if there's certain things that I will not accept, and if I voice that to a person and that person still violates that, then it's like, okay, guess what? I I know where to place you in the hierarchy of my life. No, and that's very understandable. No, no, don't get me wrong. Sometimes you have to take a... You can, uh, what do, what do the young people say? Fuck with you from a distance as, um, Mm -hmm. the young people like to say, but no, I understand. But, um, but a good friend is somebody who's, you know, there for you thick and thin puts up with your bullshit, you know, regardless of how much bullshit you may give them. And, you know, sometimes I'm guilty of it. I'm very guilty of it. And, um, but the reason being the reason you have those good friends, you know, not to put it in quotations or anything like that is because we're people, we have feelings, we go through things. The world is in a way different place. Uh, we talk about this all the time on the show. One other thing about a good friend, uh, cause I'm just sitting here thinking at, at, at while you're talking, like I would a- like to add to that list is like someone you can rely on and not someone who's like, yo, if I need you in a pinch, are you going to be there? And I'm not talking to you directly. I'm just saying in general. No, no, no. In general, I, I understand. I understand. And, again, I, I, as I get older, I realize, like, mm, 
I see. So like you, you can you start to see the patterns that you didn't see. again. I I already recognize uh, patterns in people. Yeah. But as you get older, you start to recognize patterns not just of individuals but of types of individuals. If when, that when, makes when sense. you say no, no, no the, I I understand because what you're saying, a lot you, of people may have the same type of personality or the same values or whatever. You, but you start to see those patterns, like oh, this particular group is like this. Yeah. So, but a birds of a feather. Yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah, birds yeah, of yeah, a yeah. feather, man. If you it, what is it? What's the saying? If um, if you hang around ten broke people, you're bound to be the eleventh. Oh no! If you hang around nine bro, uh, broke people, you're bound to be the tenth. Yeah. Well, again, that's why we. Try to surround ourselves with good people, you yeah. know. Um, yeah. and shout out to the squad. What's up, guys? Um, and you know, and even we, if if we have our differences, we're we're adults. We know how to communicate with one. Communication, man. Like that's well, like sometimes. that's. Yeah, well, men, men are still men. Like, well, yeah. No, I'm not saying men are perfect. Not like yeah. I'm not saying that by any means. Like, like we have our flaws. Like I have mine. You have yours. Yeah. You know, people have theirs. But communication is like the biggest thing, like in in anything, I uh, with anything, yeah. whether, whether you're playing a game of Halo, hundred percent. Well, this guy, <laughs> yeah, whether you're playing a game of Halo, <laughs> of course he's gonna bring it back to the game. Uh, yeah, well, well, of course, because I want, I don't want to shout out John, who's gonna visit us here in a couple months. Uh, All right, no, we're not shouting out John. Don't uh, do it. I'm, don't do it. Don't do it. We're not saying your name, sir. Thank you don't for listening. Keep, anyway, keep going. So, but communication is important, man, and sometimes. I think as I get older, I am learning different ways to communicate, if that makes any sense. Yeah. And sometimes when I get frustrated, because you know me, you know, I can be an angry bastard sometimes. Um, only, I, only when you six double fist in. Yeah. Well, that's that's a problem that I'm... Anyway, what I'm saying is, is sometimes I, even as... I'm a smart guy. I know. Like you say, I put myself down a lot and all that other shit, you know. Self-talk is big too, bro. Yeah. Well, it's the people that don't talk to themselves that you have to worry about. Uh, so, you know, the funny part is I was just watching a streamer the other day and they were talking about, um, uh, what, what was it? Internal dialogue. And there was, he was, the, the streamer was saying the exact same thing. He was like, people who don't have that internal dialogue with themselves are those are the sociopaths it's yeah. like like you if you can't that, that means you basically don't have a conscience because what it, the internal dialogue is guess what the little angel and the devil on your shoulder yeah of course and people who don't have those or they ignore those guys they're the ones that are a problem yeah no and the reason i bring that up is because i was i guess caught talking to myself uh like a week and a half ago or something and yeah. i wasn't even i was just thinking out loud that's Kind of how I am. Mm. I think there's a quote somewhere, and I remember this from the seventh grade over the PA system, where they used to give the little quotes of the day and stuff. Mm. Um, it was like, we are most like ourselves when we are alone. Okay? Yeah. Like, you're you're in your rarest form, your purest form. You're yourself. Yeah. And I was outside. Nobody's out there. I'm sitting there. I'm hitting my vape, you know. And somebody comes outside, and they were like, yo, are you talking to yourself? And I was like... Are you not? Because I just, you know, I was kind of taken off guard by it. And I was like, well, hey, I was like, if you're not talking to yourself, then what the fuck are you doing? Uh, okay. Um, I, yeah. I, I see where you're saying. I, I understand where you're going. Um, it was a little awkward. I, that's I, all. I know growing up, I always heard, like, if you're, if you're doing that, if you're talking or whatever, it, like, talking to yourself, like, People say, "Well, what is it?" This is, "Are you talking to yourself?" Because uh, they 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 call you crazy if you're talking to. Yeah, yourself. no, yeah, you get labeled as a as a or, psycho or whatever the fuck it is. Or um, like if you're talking to yourself, and the thing is, like, are you talking to yourself? Uh, as, as long as I don't, as long as you don't answer back or whatever, that means like you're fucking multiple personalities or whatever. But you have to answer yourself back because this this consciousness thing that we are. The, on a cosmic level is the energy. It, it, it comes from everywhere. It's, yeah. it's not just us just saying, Hey, I'm, I'm fucking talking to myself as a fucking human being. 
I'm talking to myself as as like this cosmic energy that needs to adjust to the way things are in the state that I'm in at this moment. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Dude, look, again, like I said when that was we some started deep up, shit. Like I said when we started the show, the, the it's 2022. The world has changed so very much. We we as grown men and 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 women out there are constantly in a state evol- of flux. Yeah. We are trying to find different ways to to communicate, to grow, to this, this, and that. And it's uncomfortable. It's you energy. It, yeah. Energies are, are, are frequencies. So depending on, well, that's why they always talk about the, the we're getting to the metaphysics type shit now, but um, like that, that's what we want to get onto your higher, your higher self is basically just vibrating on a higher frequency. Yeah. That, that's like love and courage. I, I think courage is kind of, it's at, it's at a higher frequency, but it's, still kind of in the middle because you're still cur- it takes courage to get over the negative stuff like hatred and anxiety and all that all that stuff yeah uh but it's, it's like courage love and i forgot there's a bunch of other stuff that are higher frequency is wisdom one of them uh yeah well, wisdom of course wisdom is oh, okay well it sounds like the triforce shout out to zelda anyway i don't know what the fuck he's talking about you well anybody out there should know um but I, I get it, man. Like, so we're, we're, we're just at, I feel like we're at a point in time in society. Like we're, we're literally going day by day. Like a hundred percent. And there's a lot of uncertainty out there. There's a lot of unknown. A lot um, of dishonesty and lying. Yeah. yeah that too. Which uh, if you're, Hey, put it, if you're lying to somebody or being dishonest to him, shame on you. All right. Just be you, be you and be raw. I'm going to stay quiet. I'm just saying. Okay, because that's not fair. Like, because if somebody did it to you, you'd be upset. Uh, that's I'll leave it at that. I'll leave it at that. Yep. But um, but we are in a society nowadays where, again, and we've talked about it a million times before. We have so much information. We have so much of this, so much of that. Everybody wants to be somebody. You know, like everybody wants to be, and, and that's fine. Like, there's nothing wrong with wanting to feel good about yourself or wanting to do great things for yourself. You like, can, but you can do that without. Again, taking advantage of someone else. And you hit the nail on the head, sir. That's exactly what I was about to say. You know, you got to you gotta be humble, man. Like, you be gotta humble. Be, sit down. Be humble. Shout out to uh, Kendrick Lamar. I wish I had Kendrick on oh, here. Well, well, here, that's, that's I'm not gonna, sound, I'm man. not going to pull it up. But, but, um, but no, man, like, I, I get it because over the last six months or so, I have – my mind has completely changed in many ways. And it's like, and at first, at first, it's like, yo, I'm true. Yeah. Uh, I'm telling you, man, like oh, I, I, was, I was talking to our buddy Tron. Shout out to him, man. Oh, um, damn. Yeah. No, nah, it's, that's the homie. What's up, dude. Um, I was actually telling him cause I haven't seen him in a while. I was oh. like, Hey, you know, I did this while I had COVID. Speaking of that, what, um, uh, what's happened with his podcast? I didn't get a chance to ask him. Do you know, it's crazy. He actually asked me something. And I was like, because you do all the technical work and behind the scenes stuff. Mm-hmm. He was basically talking about, oh, man, I, I think it's like SSM or something like that. It, it, it was SSM. Or basically SMS? SMS. Yeah, that's text messaging. No, this was something in regards to when you have a guest on your show, uh-huh. like you can get paid through the platform to have. Oh, a guest. it depends on the. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There, yeah, there was, was one that I looked into um, before. He was asking if we did that. I signed up for one, but uh, we never really got a response. And I was always kind of like into having the actual person here. So for what I was looking, I was looking for like a legit scientist or, or somebody who knew something about maybe some crypto or some shit. Um, <clears throat> but. If you, it, I, I really don't want to do the the Zoom thing because we had experiences with it where it just didn't work. Well, like it's, it's, our, our numbers were going up, COVID hits, and we had to start. We kept the show going, and we had to do everything through Zoom. We did that what for what like like, like, to, like eight eight or nine episodes, it, it, maybe eleven, something like that. It's kind of crazy, man. We almost the, had two months of that. But shit. the numbers crashed. 
after that. Like they were climbing steadily and then they fucking just plummeted. And now we're in a place where we're trying to figure figure out how to dig back up to where we were at. Yeah, no. So. And, 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 you know, unfortunately life happens, but that's what motivates us to even do better every week. Um, and, and just have a good time, man. Uh, you know, the show is fun. You know, anybody is always welcome to come on. I know, I know people say they're going to come on and they don't come on and you know, that shit happens. Life happens. I get it. You have to be in a certain vibe, I guess, since me and you do it so regularly, it's natural to us. Yeah. So people that don't come on or it's their first time or second time, it's like, uh, eh, what am yeah, I going to talk I, about I, I, this? I and still, the, to this day, I've, I've talked about this before. I still don't understand. I don't know. I don't understand why people think it's like this crazy thing. Maybe because of the, the way we do it, it looks professional ish. Uh, well, hey, we've come a long way, man. Yeah. I mean, thanks to you, we don't we don't have to use that shit. Even, standard. even even starting out, no, I'm talking about when we were in my basement, like we uh, were, the good old days. Like that shit, we had one camera, and we were sitting on a we fucking were, Walmart yeah, futon. futon, the futon, and we had um, the little mini fridge on to, to my left hand side. Yeah, that. You uh, know what? We should. I am gonna get us a, a mini fridge. I still. Where is that fridge anyway? Oh, I know where it is. At. Do, do you have one? Uh, it's in a place that I can't get to it right now. Okay. Um, space folks, but I'm, Oh, I'm not bringing it over here. I got to look at you. See all this other shit I got over here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah look at me just hoarding your whole life, dude. <laughs> if you came to my house, it's like, Hey, RG, you're doing well for yourself. It's like, no, I'm not. I was like, I own the carpet. <laughs> that's, that's about it. dude. I own the carpet and the, uh, the very nice soundproof blanket given to us. Uh, by our good friend. No, you don't. That is, I, I was going to say it. I brought over. that over here. From our good friend at Motivated Moving Solutions. And we miss you, sir. I hope to see you soon. That shit has been used for soundproofing since since I came over here. Yeah, really? no, no. And it is it is the one variable that has yet to change. It doesn't need to because it's perfect where it is. Sir, thank you for your carpet. We could probably use, uh, we could probably use like one, maybe two, three. We're going to create our own little bubble, our cubicle. Well, no, it would help with sound. I mean, yeah. these are, these. Are, we, don't, I don't, we don't really have sound issues because a lot of, these are sound absorbing. Oh, people can't see me. Oh, put the camera on yourself. These sir. are acoustic sound absorbers, so we, there's less vo- vo- uh, vibration and re- reverberation. Plus, these these little curtains um, absorb some sound yeah, too. Yeah, no, I mean it's it's very nicely decorated down here. Um, thank you, sir, for allowing us to have these nice things. And while I'm at it, if you want to be a guest on the show, oh, I gotta we- fucking do my taxes. Fuck. Please come over and oh eat some ass. God, this guy with the edible. No, well, I'm just. There's I only want, one left. There's one left. I want someone to come to my house and eat this ass. Yeah, eat the ass. All right, come eat it. RJ's ass, please. I Ew. would greatly appreciate it. Ew. Yeah, I know. It's like the thought of it is kind of. It's actually in my head now. I got news for you. That means you're gay. Not necessarily, but that is all right. <laughs> so anyway. Uh, I fucking hate you sometimes. <laughs> but, um, Motherfucker. but yeah, like if you ever want to come on the show, please, please, please don't hesitate. Oh, we're not uh, begging we're, people. We're done. We're, we're not. No, I'm not begging moving people. On, we're, on. Okay. We're moving on. So what I wanted to talk about and again, don't shoot the messenger, sir. Shooting him. Yeah, well, he did threaten to shoot me. I am sure. I did. First of all, I didn't threaten to shoot you. I, this fucking dialogue that he's put on the fucking social media and 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 perpetrated throughout the internet <laughs> is bullshit. <laughs> I didn't fucking threaten to shoot him. He wrote that on his own post. Well, I did write that, but it was and like then share I, this, but and, but and, under it, and it said then, or, or, or hold else. On, hold on, and I said, and then I doubled down. I was like, how many shots do you want? Three or four? And I said, I asked for five. Oh well. That's multiple shots. But. I mean, if you're going to go out, go out like the yeah. fucking G, I guess. In your leg? You're not going to. Well, you could. Because I watched, um, I know it's TV, but I've been watching Top Boy. I did, I did. Were you going to talk about something before that? I was, but go ahead. Continue. It's okay. it's, it's just nerd stuff. So I've, that's been, all. I've been watching Top Boy, which is fucking phenomenal. Um, it's a show on Netflix that takes place in modern day London. And it's about, it's like. A London version of uh, The Wire. Really? Yes. You know what's crazy? My sister was telling me about that shit. The I other fucking day. love that show. Like, and it, like at first, you, you kind of got to get used to their accents because like he, it start the it starts out he's in Jamaica. I'm not going to tell the whole story, but he's in Jamaica. But there's a lot of Jamaicans and Africans in England, 
and because for sure England was in Jamaica. That's why they before they became independent, they, they were run by the British. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> so you you kind of you hear a mix of English accents with African accents, and then you hear Jamaican. So it's like you hear all like what well, one like. That that's part of their like this is the hood yeah uh, it, like in London like the 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 ends they call it the ends and after a while you get used to it and they start sounding like I would speak to you like how I'm talking to you right now yeah. it starts sounding like regular English yeah no. because you learn the fucking slang you learn and it's just like you don't hear the accent anymore and I, I was like damn I wish there was more of this that I could watch so because I want to get good at that shit yeah no I I I think I had a this was years ago. A friend of mine, she was writing a uh, a, a college paper on something, and I, I can't remember the topic. Uh, the topic was something like, what is something that is universal that will never change? And I don't know. It hit me, like, just right then and there. I was like, slang. Slang changes, but it's not going anywhere. It just evolves. You yeah, know what I mean? it changes in different words mean different things. Yeah. Different places, different words mean yeah, different but, things. But the idea of slang in general, it's like it's, I guess, broken English for the lack of a better word. It's it's not it's going not, anywhere. That's well, not it's not broken, broken it, bro, not broken English, but uh, we'll say abbreviated to the language. That's where the, the term Ebonics comes from. Like, it, yeah. That's not broken English. Broken English is someone who speaks another language. And Well, yeah, I know. I know. And trust me, I know very well. Yeah. I know very well. But um, but yeah, I was like slang. I was like, it's not going anywhere. It evolves. It adapts. It you know, you yeah. learn new ways to. I'm trying to, to communicate. I'm trying to figure out how to put in it into my sentences. In it. In it. In it. It, it means a few things. Like it's supposed to be like short for isn't it? Yeah. Uh, but it can also be like, like if I'm telling you an order, like, hey, pick up that. Um, you, you're gonna go pick up that bottle over there, in it. Yeah. Like. Aren't you? Oh, yeah. like, like that's one way you can use it, or right. you can say, "Isn't it? Um, it? It's fucking cold outside, isn't it?" Yeah, that's the. But then they they use it for other stuff too, and you have to kind of figure out when to kind of use it, because it, it could mean um, does it. So it, it, it's 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 hard. I had to look it up to understand. I was like, "Isn't it? What is it? When do you use isn't it?" Yeah, but there's different places where you can use it. Like, oh, I'm the fucking man, isn't it? Yeah. Like that type shit. Ah, so it's again, it's when to use the word. It's it's using it in context. Yeah. All right. Context is good. Uh, context a, is great. What was another one that I was interested in? Uh, I can't think of it now. Oh, the lot of you, like the lot of you, like fuck off. The lot of you. Yeah. It means like all of Yo, you. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Off. Uh, yeah. All y'all. You know, yeah. Like I, I got it. I got it. I love that shit. So, you know what's crazy? Like. I wouldn't. I would, I, would, I don't want to say it's crazy, but what's interesting to me is when I've you know if you're scrolling through Netflix, I have found some certain shows, in and no bullshit, some of them recently, uh, and honestly, I couldn't tell you the name of the show. Be honest with you, um, you know, it's like different. Like they take place in Europe or in the UK somewhere, like mm. kind of similar to what you're saying. The Brits have some fucking good ass TV, man. Like as far as and, TV goes, yeah. they have some so, fucking phenomenal. TV. And I think one of the reasons that is, is one, because it's, it's, well, it's obviously different for us, like in terms of how they develop, how they're, t how TV is written. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think their TV is written like more it, like a movie type. Yeah, thing. so like if uh, it, put it this way, like an American sitcom, like or any, like there's structures. Well, first of all, to, The Office started in Britain. That's where it it was birthed. Yeah, no, I know that. And, and uh, then the, the Office it was fucking it was dope. done great over there, and then the U.S. was like, mm, you know what? You know, let's let, try it over here. <laughs> here yeah, like here, let's fucking, take more of your shit. Fucking hacks. Yeah, but I think it's dope. Because it one, you you know me. I I'm a fan. I'm a big fan of story of writing and character development. You know all all that kind of shit. Um, and I feel like sometimes it's done better. Or recently, it's like, hey, like you can't really watch anything like this over here. I mean, yes, we have our great American television shows, The Sopranos, The Wire, Breaking Bad. You know all you know those top tier shows, or even like sitcoms like Seinfeld. Or and I'm not a fan of Friends, but you know. Ugh. Things I'm, I'm, not, no don't don't name that again. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's it's actually not a good show. Yeah, no shit. 
but a lot of people apparently think it's a great I show. I don't know. I've watched a handful of episodes it's, in my life, and, and I just, I, I don't know. I just life. don't care for it, man. I've never cared for it. It's white, I never it, have. You know what it is? It's white people, white, white people. You know, it's crazy. I actually looked something up last night on Google because we were talking about white people, white people, mm -hmm. okay? And I was like, hey, Syria, uh, Syria. I was like, hey, Siri, <laughs> fucking, uh, I was like, I was like, what is white people shit? And then the second, I guess, headline I found. Mayonnaise, like, no seasoning in the potatoes or raisins in the potato salad. No seasoning on the chicken. Need I, need I, can, should I continue? First of all, sir, I don't put raisins in my potato salad. I didn't say you did. No, I'm, I'm I don't sure even that, believe you ever made potato salad. My mom makes potato salad. Oh. But yeah, so again, you don't have anything to do with it. But I, go ahead. All right. So anyway, so this, the second caption was like, white people don't like being called white people. And I was like, what the fuck does that even mean? So We're what, white. What do they like to be called? Then? I did. I, I was just I was kind of gassed out just at that point. want to be called people. No, oh, I, I didn't even you, want to read ooh. it because the headline was so fucking dumb. What was the what was the headline? That was the headline. Well, or it was like you know when you do a Google search, it mm -hmm. was just like there was like the top one. I can't remember and the second one. It was like oh, uh, uh, white people don't like being called white people. And I was conversating with two other people uh -huh. who are well, one is white and one is Indian. So you know. And I was just like, I'm not reading this bullshit. Like, I have never, put it this way, I have never been offended by somebody calling me white. Because I'm fucking white. Mm. What do you want me to do about it? I was born this way. Okay. Do I do white people shit? Yeah. I like cottage cheese. <laughs> I do. I, I, I do. Motherfucker. I, that's probably the whitest thing you'll get out of me. Well, no, that's. So you that, like blue cheese too, then, no? No, I absolutely do not. How the fuck do you like. Bruv. How the fuck do you fucking like cottage cheese, right? Dude, I'm telling you. I, I, well, well, because it was given to me as a kid, like when I was really young. My so mom I, likes that shit. I fucking never liked it. Well, hear me out. I only eat it at one time, like like it, during one meal. So if I'm so for if I'm on my poor man shit or whatever it is, you know, if I'm trying to be cheap, I'll go buy a bag of fucking egg noodles for a dollar fifty. All right. You know, season the noodles up, and then I'll get a nice, not not a lot, but a, a little bit of cottage cheese, and just mix it in, dude. It's 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 like broke food, dude. At least in my mind. She. Hold up. Did you say egg noodles and fucking cottage cheese? Yeah, that's all you're fucking eating. Yeah, and you throw a little bit of pepper on that motherfucker. And oh, you're that's good. disgusting. It's not. One hundred percent, it is. It's not. You know what? Please put in the comments. What do you think? Egg noodles <laughs> and cottage cheese with a little bit of black pepper hey. is fucking disgusting or not. Thank you. So anyway, I know I'm not going to win this argument. And you know what I want to do with you know what I would do with that fucking cottage cheese and whatever the fuck you just said. <laughs> I see. I knew we had that for a reason. And I'm with, uh, I would exact. I would dump that shit in the toilet. No, no, not at all, man. And I only do it once every two months. If <laughs> so, there's a frequency in which you eat nasty shit. Well, we do have no. That's not the edible same. anuses. That's actual chocolate. You're yeah, fucking you're eating you. egg noodles and fucking cottage cheese. You disgusting motherfucker. I am a nasty bitch. And the plot thickens. You know, speaking of Law and Order. Oh, I I've been, I I, 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 dude, well, well, hey, so I've been watching, uh, you know, the organized crime, you know, with Elliot Stabler, my fucking man, by the way. And I'll tell you, it's dope, man. I like it a lot. And there was a scene in an episode that I was watching earlier today before I blacked out again. Um, yeah, that happens sometimes. Sorry, um, dude. Like it was so it was so cheesily made. They were like doing a car chase. And then the, the woman driving the car was like, you know what? Fuck it. And she's got, like, the criminal, like, you know what I'm saying, in the passenger seat. And they drive off a cliff. But the way it was, like, animated for TV was just hilarious. I actually made a video of it, and I'll show it to you. You're probably not going to find it as funny as I did. But I was also kind of, you know, token at the time. <laughs> I fucking hate you. <laughs> I fucking hate you. <laughs> See, this is white people, white people. Like, yeah, right, I'm, right. Like, I'm like, what are you talking about? Uh, but what I anyway anyway go ahead, go Top ahead. Boy is a fucking highly recommended show. All right, so what I was going to talk about before we started this whole thing next Saturday and Sunday, um, it's that time of year, and I and I know I know he's not ready for it. Where's the fucking snooze at? Yeah. 
his uh, WrestleMania weekend. All right. A, a big, big weekend in the sports entertainment. Uh, the biggest, the grandest stage of them all. Um, as always, I'm always hyped for it. I'm super stoked. Uh, I know last week we unfortunately talked about the passing of Scott Hall. Um, but yesterday I was at work and Triple H is on ESPN with Stephen A. Smith. Yeah, because he retired. He retired. And he hasn't actively wrestled in a very long time. Or but he he's has running that shit. And I was just, he had a, unfortunately, he almost had heart failure. He has a defibrillator on his heart now. Um, and I'll tell you, as obviously as a lifelong fan, as most of you guys know, um, Triple H, in my opinion, is possibly the greatest heel of all time. He's got some of the greatest matches ever. He's put people over time and time again. He's got the King of Kings, the Cerebral Assassin, the game. You know what I mean? He is definitely, and it just, for him to not go out on his own terms as a fan. You forgot about Hunter Hearst Helmsley. Oh, yeah. Don't don't worry. That's what the Triple H is for, man. I know, but um, you didn't name that. That was his original character. I know. Before he became Triple H, it was Hunter Hearst Helmsley. So if I call him Triple H, is it? Am I not referring to Hunter Hearst? No, Helm, was it? that because no, because he came out. Yeah, with his little wardrobe and shit. Yeah, it yeah. was like that. Fucking, he had the little cuffs, the the lace cuffs and like, shit, and the little French. And it was like, like it was like, or, yeah, yeah, a little thing. Yeah, no, yeah, and it and almost killed so, his character. Almost killed yeah. his character. So and, that's why he had it switched to Triple H. Do you know what's crazy is three of the besides Triple H, The Rock and Stone Cold had terrible gimmicks. When they first started, uh, yeah, his uh, rock was uh, Rocky, uh, Rocky Maivia. Maivia, yeah. Um, he was part of the Nation of Domination. People would chant "Die, Rocky, Die!" Now, <laughs> because wrestling wrestling fans are savage. Okay, and then he said, "Finally, the Rock." He just turned it one eighty. Has come back. He just did a whole one eighty to Fairfax County. Fairfax County. <laughs> Dude, this motherfucker's man. wearing his county on his shirt. Dude, <laughs> this shirt this shirt is fucking cool, dude. Okay. I am so out of style. I'm a if goofy. If you yeah. You know what? I'm I'm not the feds, even though with these glasses I look like the feds. Mm. Do I? Mm-mm. No? Okay. Well, that, well that's not good. Not too many feds have um, goatees. You know what's crazy? I shaved my chin here like a couple years ago when I did part-time at UPS and man, did I feel fucking ugly. Like, I felt hideous. Like, I have, like, I don't have, like, a butt chin, but I'm, I've am had a goatee since I was basically, like, 15, 14, 15, and I never shave it. I mean, I trim it and all that. I never shave yeah, it all you don't off. give anybody a, use to, a time to get used to it. Well, I'm, I'm, if anybody needs I to get to used have to a, it, it's mine. I used to it's have me. a mustache for the longest, and I fucking said one day, I said, fuck it, I'm just going to shave this shit. Because yeah, I, I couldn't grow it anywhere else. So I was like, let me just shave. No, but I, I I like my chin hair. I do. But I, I had to it's shave it. a lot it. of it. Yeah, I know. It's a little bushy. I, I've got some tea tree oil in uh, my the little... What the fuck does that got to do with anything? I'm just saying. Trim like, that shit. Uh, well, I'm supposed to get my hair cut tomorrow. So I'm supposed oh, to... Oh, no, no. I'm, I'm going I'm to... You, you need to get that shit cut. Yeah, I know. It's a mess from my fucking beanie and all this mm, shit. Yeah. And I look... Uh, you know what it's like going to my job? Where everybody's got their hair done and all this other shit, and I walk. Oh, in you there. mean um, professional? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pretty, <laughs> pretty I'm, much. I am probably the most professional person you'll ever meet. I am. So, with that being said, I'm just sitting here. But yeah, I had to shave it for to work at UPS, and man, dude, I hated it. I fucking hated it. It's like I felt ugly, and people were talking to me. It's like, ew, you're looking at my face because I have to look at my face. Because it's my face. I mean, I got to look at your face, too. Well, that's why I wear the glasses, so you don't have to look me directly in the face. Uh, I'm uh, pretty close to you. I can still see your face. Well, I guess that's fair. If, you know, I mean, I don't want to argue about my face. Well, I think we should. Uh, you know what? I Put the camera on me. Look at my face. It's, <laughs> it, it's, the, gr- the glasses are drunk again. Somebody put that in the uh, comment. Uh, uh, no, wait. Are, are they fixed now? I can't tell because you're, look, you're looking not, at the camera. Right. Nope. Nope. Are, they're not crooked. They are crooked. They are? the fuck you, you're bringing it down the wrong side no oh, the what? side you keep pulling on is the side that's crooked uh, uh here that's that? better maybe uh, your ears are just offset dude i have a big ass head we've talked about no, this on the I show i think your ears are offset i had surgery on this here where they put 16 stitches and two staples in my head well maybe that ear is a little lower the, the doctor attached it in the wrong place 
I can still hear. I can hear your punk ass. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Well, you got headphones on. I hope you can hear. You know, and speaking of headphones, I didn't play, I barely played anything for the last, like, two weeks. One, because I was out on some fucking wild-ass bender for no reason. And two, my cord for my headset, my Astro A40s that I've had for years, um, it finally started going bad. Like, the jack, when you plug it in, there was, like, static and everything. Mm -hmm. So it was cutting out my mic. Like, I couldn't talk to anybody, and I couldn't. In the role-play world, it'd be your voice box. It, It would be my voice box, Yes. Like and, how I pulled that out, but yeah, you don't even know about that. You know what? I'm going to drink this beer, and I'm going to continue to talk about my headset because my headset's important. So I did the, the adult thing because my friends are like, where are you at? I was like, dude, my headset's fucked up. Like, if we're playing Halo and I can't communicate, important, folks, communication, it's like I, I don't want to play. So I ordered a new I ordered a new cord, $12 off of Amazon with Amazon Prime, okay? 13 I think, 67 with tax, all right? I got it, I plugged it in, and man, oh man, what a world of difference. I could hear people, I could talk to people, my sound in my headset was better, and I completely shit on people for about four games until I lost like two in a row, which was really, really bad. And then I played this morning, um, you know, I'm trying to get back into the rhythm of it because I haven't played in a while. I wasn't doing too bad, I had a couple of good games, and but ah, man, I felt like I had the worst luck today. It's like I would spawn... You know, I'm start, I start tagging people with shots. It's like, hey, he's over here, he's over here. And then, you know what, you know what happens? Motherfuckers just come out of nowhere, like a, like a vulture. Just scoop you up and th- take you away. I just, ha- I just had, like, a kind of off day in gaming. Well, I mean, you know, I also, um, so I, I <laughs> ate a biscuit the other day at work. It was, like, the highlight of my oh, day. You know, so what? That was much more interesting than what you were Fuck you about. and this biscuit, <laughs> look, all right? Look, look, what did you put on the biscuit? So, apparently, like, th- there was a biscuit, and uh, it was a Popeye's biscuit, okay? Oh, the best ones. You put a little strawberry jam on the Yeah, yeah. the strawberry jam? Yeah, yeah, I got some strawberry jam. See, there, see, now he's talking about shit that interests the world. So, and then there was a little bit of... So apparently we have a bottle of honey at work that I was not aware of. Ooh. So I put a little bit of honey drizzle on that, um, and I I put it in the little microwave upstairs in the office, just to, you know, just ten fifteen seconds. Yeah, know. I was gonna say you don't and, need long for that. Well, yeah, no, dude. And one, if anybody's eating a Popeye's biscuit, you know how dry it can be. So make sure you have a fucking drink with it. <laughs> but fucking, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude, no bullshit, dude. I, there is nothing like choking on a biscuit. No, no oh. homo. Yeah. Oh. Did that come off wrong? Choking on a biscuit. That's the episode. Choking on a biscuit? Choking uh, on a biscuit. All right. I'm fine with that. I'm fine. With, so I hey. ate, I ate said biscuit. Oh, that was RJ's title, not mine, because he chokes on biscuits on a regular basis. Put the camera on me. I choke on all the biscuits. Anyway, yeah. the, but it was phenomenal, and it was truly, I'm not even lying to you, it was truly the highlight of my day. I, 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 I. I put a little bit of honey drizzle on. a shitty day for a biscuit to fucking make that shit high. The, the I, I, it, it wasn't even a shitty day at work. It was just boring. Nothing was happening. You know, it was, uh, I think it was Wednesday when it started raining uh, and whatnot. I don't know. I was in my house. Well, I was standing in the lane, sir, protecting it with honor. Mm. Okay. We got the doors open. And I'm like, ah, it's a dreary day. It's not busy. What do I do? And I it's think like, I hey, took a nap that day. Yeah, I'm taking a nap. Fuck, dude. Oh. I wish. Oh, yeah. But. Oh. It was just it a dreary good. day, and good. it's like, hey, we've got these biscuits. It's like, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat one, Ooh. and I ate it, and it, it, it heavily increased my mood. And then about four hours later, when I realized I had to sit here for another four hours, that's when it kind of started to dissipate. Because it, it's just been slow. I don't know what to do. I'm literally walking around in circles at work. It's driving me crazy. I mean, there's plenty of things you could do. We could listen to podcasts. Learn something while you're doing all that. You know, I've learned a lot sitting there alone in my thoughts. Yeah, about yourself, but you could be learning about the world and stuff like that. I am the world, Jared Smith. Okay, I'm just saying. All right. Well, you don't have to. You don't have to be. You know, I understand. I'm a very important person. And here, you know what? Since we're talking about it, let let, let let's talk about being important and how important you feel you are to yourself and just yourself alone. Do you know why? I don't think I'm the most important thing. Neither do I. Because my dad, God rest his soul, when I was growing up, I'd go in the kitchen, you know, cry and complain about a bunch of dumb shit. The world doesn't revolve around you. And it's like, okay. And then I get older, it's like the world doesn't revolve around you. It's like, yeah. But you should. should, I'm not 100% 
sure that I kind of agree because I, I heard that growing up also, but I'm not a hundred percent. I'm dog. I'm very, I don't want to say combative, but I'm very, I question certain things that was taught to us by the previous generation. Yeah. Just like we spoke about last week with Santa and Christmas yeah, and yeah, all yeah. that. And I, I just, I, I kind of, I, I try to analyze it like, being realistic and as to try to be a person who would like to move the world forward. <laughs> that that reminds me of something. Go ahead though. Um, I, I, I can't always go along just because a parent or an adult told me something as I was a young youngster that that's the gospel. If that makes sense. No, no, no. I do. Trust me. I've heard, because Shit, I still fucking hear it, dude. All right? Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I like still the, fucking the, hear it. The world doesn't revolve around you. Well, obviously it doesn't because we know how science works. However, I feel like that's a defeatist mentality. It's like, oh, the world doesn't revolve. You You ain't shit, but, but I want to be shit. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I, I have to, no, I, no, no. I have to ha- carry myself a certain way to be shit. No, so I, that's kind of where I was getting because, you know, we're at an age where mental health is a big deal, and, yeah. and which is completely fine, you know, and it, it's okay to not be okay. I was not okay the other night. I was having a rough time, um, but I'm here, and I'm good. I'm, yeah, Scout's honor. Um, but it's like, yeah, it's like, oh, well, you're, you're supposed to do this, and you're supposed to do that, or I was told to do the same shit. Like, you're, you're, you're given a... Uh, your cards and you have to play them a certain way. And, and and again, just like, it's not what you say. It's how you say it. There's so many analogies I could use, but it's like, Hey, you know what? The world doesn't revolve around me. So when I carry that mentality, it's like, Oh, you don't think enough of yourself. And it's like, what, what, wait, hold on. That's not what I was getting at, but it's like, no, you don't. It's like, really? It's like, yeah. Do you know who you are? And it's like, well, yeah, but this is who, what I do. It's like, I don't think you really know who you are. And it's, it's kind of crazy to me. Cause I was, uh, obviously kind of in a, not in a dark space. I was upset about something, nothing overly crazy. Um, but I had a conversation and, and it's like, you know what, you know, but what happens is at least for me, it's like, okay, you know what? We're, we're going to do us. We're, we're going to do RJ or we're going to do Jared or we're going to do whomever we're going to do our things. But what happens is, is when you start or, the way I think, yeah, and I'm not speaking for you, I'm uh-huh. not speaking for you, is if you get too, too, too far along and you eventually become, I know I know this is going to sound crazy, but you you kind of become like an egomaniac a little bit. What do you, you mean? Well, what do you mean if, if you go too far along? What so, so what? I guess what I'm saying is, is like you want to have confidence in yourself. You should. Yeah, you should. no, no, no. You, you, there's a, okay. So there's a fine line. I, I get exactly. That. There's yeah. a fine line between confidence and cocky. Yeah. So now, that's, now, hold on. Let me finish. Some people will misconstrue because they feel a certain way about themselves. They will misconstrue your confidence for cockiness. I agree with that. Even if you're consciously not trying to be cocky, if I'm just living my life and I'm doing what the things that I want to do to accomplish the things that I want to accomplish, to someone who is not ready to be that way, they're going to take that as, oh, he thinks he's the shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, like, in reality, it's like, actually, I had this uh, kind of this recent conversation probably about a month ago with someone. They told me the same thing. They were like, you think you're better than everybody. I'm like, the fuck are you talking about? Like, you obviously don't know me. You just, you're making an assumption yeah. off of things that you see and things that I do. You're making an assumption of who you think I am in my own head. I could be the most anxiety ridden person but i just fucking as i do push myself through shit you know oh, yeah. no no duh. but that's me, taken I, I because know. because not everybody can can do that it's taken as i'm arrogant or i'm i'm better than every i think i'm better than everybody yeah no no Which i is agree far from the truth yeah now and- there are certain people i do like <laughs> The fuck? Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. You yeah. you 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 ain't you ain't gonna ever be on my level. That type of shit. Like yeah. because that's that confidence. It's like, bruh, fuck out of uh, here. Yeah, no. And I agree. And as somebody um as we both 
and everybody out there who listens, and it, we all do with an anxiety in certain ways. Yeah. Um, I know what it's like to personally be driving my car randomly and have a massive panic attack, and Oof. you know, it, which sucks. I think I had one the other day. I don't know if I've. Ever, I don't know what a panic attack feels like. You don't. But wanna, I think it, I had one the other day. I, it, I will tell you, my friend, it is not some. It's not fun, but I have dealt with it for a good third of my life. I get them. Uh, I would say every so often, uh, sometimes they're more frequent than others. So I, here, since we're being real about it, so I have general anxiety disorder, okay? I overthink things, and everybody tells me that. And it's like, and, and it's fine. Every, everybody does. Everybody does. Everybody does. And I'm not the only person that suffers from it. It's, like, it's, it's how you handle it. Yes. Yeah, it's how you handle it. So as the years have gone by and time has passed, I when I, whenever I have one, Okay, and it'll, dude, I could be fucking pushing a grocery cart and giant, or I could be, you know, going through the fucking McDonald's drive through and it'll hit me, and, you know, my hands will start to go numb, you know, your chest gets tight, you can't breathe really, and you start, you're, you're, you get kind of spaced out a little bit, and I've been on, I've personally been on 95, you know, driving at 60 miles an hour, and this is happening to me, and it's like, I can't pull over anywhere. I can't do anything about this at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to talk to myself. I'm going to sit here. I'm going to be like, hey, I, and this is what I personally do. I tell myself my name. I tell myself my birthday. And I tell myself the hospital I was born in. I'm telling you, those three things. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's actually a technique um, I was shown. I think it's, I think it's five things. But, uh, like, when you get into a certain state, like, or you feel like, it also works if you're like about to get angry or yeah or or anxiety. Yeah, yeah. Um, you think it, you you stop. It, it's called like five the five fives or something like that. I can't remember the exact terminology, but basically, you stop for five seconds and you think about five things that are in the room, because what that does is bring you back to the present. Like yeah, you the, refocus. You're, yeah, you're, you're overthinking. When you're overthinking and you start getting anxiety, that means you're thinking about the future. Yeah. Um, and it comes, uh, the past, that's where depression comes. When you start thinking about uh, the past, that's yeah. where depression comes from. But what thinking about stuff that five things that are in the room, what it does is bring you back to the present. It's like, oh, I, I'm okay. I'm, I'm like, like there's a microphone there. There's a camera there. There's this, that. So it's bringing me back to here and like, okay, I know where I'm at. I'm not thinking about the future, and I'm not thinking about the past. I'm right here. I'm okay. That's it. So, as somebody who has dealt with this personally, I 100% agree because that's what I try to do to myself. It's like, all right, like I know I'm freaking out. Like you're, you're. I'm very self aware of what is currently happening. Do you do meditation? Any meditation? I I do. I actually um I don't do it. I do it. I've been doing it a little more recently. Um, I used to do it quite a bit. Um, and I'm not talking like trying to levitate. In, no, no, in, no, 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 Indian style. No, 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 no. So, so the, the cool thing about meditation is, is that, and okay, so we drink. Okay. This is obviously like my biggest vice in my life you personally. Drink, so. Yeah. 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 So when I meditate or when I attempt meditation, I take small steps to, to get myself, I don't want to say prepared for it. I want to. Look, man, I'm at a point in my life where I want to be the best version of myself possible. And there is things that I do that hold me back from doing that. It, it, it's I'm just being honest. Like, there are things that I do that hold me back from being as great as I could be. And I know eventually one day that glass ceiling will break. And Because I'm, I'm determined, even if, put it this way, the last month and a half I said, hey, I'm going to stop drinking today. I'm going to stop drinking today. And I haven't. But... Every time I take a sip, it's like, all right, I'm getting, I feel like I'm getting closer to that point to where it's like, I don't need this as much as I think I do. And, and it's true. Like, I don't, I just, we like to go out. We like to be sociable. Even if it's just me and you sitting there watching golf, which, you know, obviously I'm a, I'm a great you're, golfer. You're not watching. Oh, yeah. First of all, <laughs> first of all, this motherfucker, I don't even think, have you ever been on an actual course? I've been on a course once. 
just once. Did you swing a club on that course? I've never. I've uh, uh, the only time I've swung a club is during putt putt, sir. Okay, but I'm so, going to tell you right now, so I'm a great a, golfer. <laughs> no, you're not. I'm probably going to end up throwing the club fucking <laughs> fucking forty yards away from uh, us. Well, I've been around someone who's done that before and almost killed me in a server. But you're here. Did I tell you about that story? No. Nah. So so someone swung club and let it go. We're and at Top Golf, Kingstown. Uh, R.I.P. By the way, many years ago, um, and uh, uh, he's been on the show before. Big Dave, ah, went, went up, uh, hey, congratulations as well, sir. He went up, and um, I don't know if you want to. No, no, I, that. that's all. That's all I was saying. That sounds okay. That's all, that's all I was going. Um, so he went up, swung the club. He went forward just fine, but on his backswing, he lost the grip on the club. Oh, so the joint just like kind of shot out like a poop shoot. So the club shot out of his hands. Went. I was sitting in the, one of the little couches. It went past my head. <laughs> I can only imagine, dude. <laughs> and then there was a server walking with food, and it went past my head and went th- between the two of us. Yeah, he was behind me, but it went between the two of us and broke the the bay door behind the glass out of the bay <laughs> door. And I was like, uh, "Check, please." Yeah. Um, time for us to go, and, and was, I, I didn't go back for a while because I thought that everybody <laughs> thought, like, oh, you're that motherfucker. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you were with know. that dude that fucking broke the window. Nah, you know what's cra- I as even though even though I'm joking about the golf thing, I, I kind of hate how that's not there anymore, man. I, I really don't like it. Uh, it is what it is. No, no, it was just a nice little spot to just chill. They're, 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 yeah, putting, you know. they're putting another golf place there. Do you know what? That blows my fucking mind because I thought the whole reason they got rid of it was because the neighborhoods were yeah, cl- complaining. What, I know, but what are, what are you going to put over there? You got those those pits are there. But that's my point. That's why I'm I'm not frustrated. But it's like so people were complaining about it. You got the pits. You know that's that's what they're well, for. I think a part of the other the other reason is the Top Golf. That was the first Top Golf. Yeah, yeah. No, I know that. Um, I think what happened is as they built new locations, they. They they modified their business model each time until until they got to where they're at now. Where it's like, oh, we, because man, last time I drove down south, I was I think it was Georgia. Um, like they were putting like for every every fifty miles across the on the side of the highway because you can see the poles yeah from the highway, they were building a top golf, all, all right. the way down eight ninety five eighty five or whatever the fuck that shit was. All the way down, I saw. Oh, there's a top golf going up there. There's a top golf going up there because they they have their business model. They know exactly how much room they need. They know exactly what to do, like their pay structure and all that shit. So, the Kingstown one was a it was a dinosaur compared to the all the other yeah. Ones. No, and and again, that's understandable, you know. But at the same time, I just think for just as a local business in this area, okay, it's. It was a it was a nice not, spot to go. It's not a local business. It's a corporation. It, it's a corporation, but I'm so just saying it, locally. The, no, for a no, play- no, no, you're oh, looking at it. No, no, you're looking at it the wrong way. You're looking at it as, oh, it's a local business, and it was one of the first ones. No, man, that's not how business works. I understand that. I know how business works. Oh, do you? I do. Because I'm run- questioning it. Then I'm not questioning it. I'm just saying it's. It was. I think it was just good for this area for for a, a, a local spot to be. That's all. I, it was a fun place to go. That's it. I, I know business happens. Business models change. Obviously, you know, I don't do the same thing I used to do anymore. Like, and I'm in a business now that is constantly evolving, which is fucking crazy. So I understand, like, from a business perspective, okay, it's like, you know what? This is played out. It's not needed anymore. That's great. But for for the just the, the people that live down the street, like myself or just other, obviously, local people, it's just a fun spot to go. But it's you like, did you only went. I went with you guys. Yeah, I only yeah, went you with didn't, you guys. You didn't do anything. I didn't do anything, but I liked just to, the the vibe, dude. That's all. Oh. I just like the vibe. I just I just like going to see the bitches. Uh, there's a lot of them there. The one. Never mind. Yeah. Anyway, so. <coughs> oh. Excuse me. Oh, let's take the camera off of him. Yeah. Let me come, while I while COVID I, uh, fever. No, no, no. That's. And I was actually uh, talking to you know it's crazy. I was talking to Tron. Um, well, you know, just yep. a little while ago. Yep. And he was telling me how they went golfing and all this and this. And he was telling me, he, like, a couple months ago, he tried to go or, or something like that. And he was like, yeah, 
they were giving he said, I was doing this, I was doing this, I was doing that. And then I get up to the counter and they're like, where's your mask? And he was like, well, what the fuck? What do you mean? I'm like, where's my mask? You know, it's like, I just. Yeah, well, that was before. They yeah, yeah, everything. yeah. Before, before everything happened. But I, I was I don't, telling. I don't, I don't, I, but we that's started. a slippery to, slope for me. Yeah. No, but we started talking about like, you know, taking sick days off of work and all that other shit. Oh, you know, I take because, my shit. No, that's fine. I mean, you should. I mean, I, mean, I don't really need to because if I need to, I, I just pff, won't work that day. No, and I told him the same thing, dude. I know what it's like to make fucking uh, $1,500 worth of food by myself with a 100-degree fever, and then I go home. And Yeah, that might it, not necessarily it, it, be the right way to look at things either. No, no, it's not. It's not good for you. You know, but I had this old school no, I know. Me- mentality. I did not try to tell you about it, too. These no. motherfuckers don't care about you. No, I, I know that. I know that. Trust me, I know. But but me being the, the individual I am, it's like, you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna still go by the by the book, you know? Yeah. And uh, the book is not always right. And the texture changes, you know? The book is rarely right. The, the, the book is... The, the book is to benefit the company, not its employees. And I understand that. That's why I'm no longer there. Which is, okay. well, I, I'm just saying I would like to not have to work for anybody. I just want to do all my own shit. Yeah. Well, we're getting there. Well, hopefully we're getting there. And while we're getting there, what you should be doing to get there, help us get there, is like, share, comment, and subscribe. That and little notification down there at the bottom. Not just here on YouTube, on fucking audio, too. You got to yeah. subscribe to the channel, please. Yeah, you're always welcome to. We need subscriptions. We need downloads. And we need... Um, What's the other? We need reviews on iTunes, so quit your bullshitting and review us on iTunes. Yeah, it takes uh, just a couple minutes out of your day. Uh, we know you all ain't doing shit because we ain't doing really much of shit either. Besides, you know, you this. know it, 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 it. This is gonna be me kind of shitting on people who listen regularly. If you listen regularly and you you don't download the audio, I, I get it. You might watch the video, but you. Eh, Kind of subscribe to the audio also because we we get bigger numbers out of the audio than we do the video. As much as people say, oh, I'd rather watch it. No, more people are listening than they're watching. And if it, it and a shocker out here for most people, um, I I'm more of an audio guy myself. To be completely honest, because that's rather, the whole point of a podcast yeah, in the yeah, first yeah, place. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather listen. So sometimes, so, so sometimes that's why when I get on, like people will probably be like in the past have been like, "Oh, why are you getting on RJ for not talking to the mic?" Because he's not talking to the mic, and the audio is more important than everything else. So some some days when I get up before work on a Monday, if the show obviously if you put the show out, um, when he does put the show out, folks, excuse oh my me. God. I will I will hop in the shower. I will I will turn the podcast on for the 10 15 minutes that I'm standing in the shower, you know, getting prepared for the day, and I'll listen to it. it I do the same thing with local radio uh, or anything else uh, or any YouTube clip. It's like because the thing about listening is you can use you can visualize in your head. You can use your imagination. Well, I, I I feel you. I'm going to let you finish, but I I wanted to my point was from the beginning of what I was saying to the people who listen regularly, uh, it would be appreciated if you actually subscribed um, and downloaded weekly, as well as, again, review on iTunes if you have iTunes or, or, or shit, review wherever the fuck you have it. Because um, I, it's weird. I just hear constantly, oh, I, I listen to the podcast or I, I watch the podcast, but no one interacts. Is besides the, the the regular two or three people who, and and thank you to those people. Like thank you very very much. But again, it's a process. Uh, we're getting there. Uh, uh, at this point, it's not so much a process. It's like I don't know. Nah, well, at the same time, the way you, look at it this way: like we had a conversation a couple of weeks ago, uh, me and you, um, um, and I think what it is really at the end of the day is like, you know, I'm like, I'm, you know, I'm a mouthpiece, you know, this is our show. Okay. And it's about basically, you know, putting, putting in the work to make the show bigger, you know, just better, just better in general, whether it's, whether it's through promoting something or giving out stickers or magnets or hats or watching other podcasts. So you can kind of get an idea of what else is out there. Yeah. And so, that was directed I, I, towards you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you fucking dickhead. Um, w- what I'm saying is is that this show 
is insanely important to me as well. Okay, mm-hmm. like you you might not think that. Like I didn't, this, say I didn't, I didn't no, no. think that. No. But what it is is it's like you know what it's like I am trying to figure myself out, and this is me and yours safe space. So I know at least every Saturday when I wake up and I don't have to work, it's like, oh, I know what the the big goal for today is. It's this. Mm -hmm. It is doing this. It is important. It is our therapy, you know, for lack of a better word. And it's insanely important to me. And I want you to know, Mr. Smith, that I take this show. Put your fucking finger down. I am pointing at you. He's pointing at me, and I don't appreciate it, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so I'm going to point upwards. About to get all this brown belt action. Well, at, at this point, I'm surprised <laughs> you haven't done done it already. Uh, no, but it, it's it's insanely important to me. I, I I I talk about it at work. I talk about it amongst people that I don't know, you know, like or I barely know. It's like, oh, they're like, oh, what do you do? And it's like, well, this is a kind of a big part of my life. It really is. Yeah. So I do this on the weekends. I do this with a good friend of mine, and I say he's an ex marine, and he's uh, oh jeez, yeah. oh, yeah, no, nah, I'm, I'm just giving you shit, man. fucking details. No, no, I'm I'm just I'm just giving you shit. And there's no such thing as an ex marine. I know. Once a I'm, marine, always a marine. Yet, I will not do that because I am not a marine. Yeah, uh, I mean, you can do it. I, I don't want to do it. I yeah, I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to do it either. Because it's it's speaking of marines, where did that fucking? Uh, I know he lives fucking in ten buck two now, but. I actually spoke to that fine gentleman uh, last week. Uh, what what we really need to do is we need to go down and pay that guy a visit. I really think we should do that. Who's driving? And well, my car ain't shit. Yours is a lot nicer than mine. Uh, I don't mean it's... All right, I'll take my car. I just got to put air in no, the tire. No, but no, here, if we do go out there, we're going to have to probably stay the night. Oh, no, that that's... Probably a given. Yeah. Okay. Then I'll drive. But I, I don't. I don't care. Like it's gonna be one of those things. Like when we're we gonna do that? I I think we should just. So I have vacation time at work that I'm gonna use soon. I don't know when. Because we um we have to do this on Saturday. That's fine. But yeah. what I'm saying is is if I take vacation time soon, which mm-hmm. I plan on doing, I have a whole week off. I we get, can, we okay. can we can go down there and okay. we can just go. hold on hold on let me let me. Let me be the devil's advocate and of course and what you're trying to of course plan here. Um, it's gonna be it, what you're saying by what you're saying is gonna be during the week, correct? Well, if we got to do the show on Saturday, then yeah. Okay, so if we got to do it during the week, what do you think is open in fucking ten buck to fucking Virginia during the week? Well. Knowing that gentleman and knowing us, when there's a will, there's a way. Uh, and I don't want to hear your shit because you know it's true. You know it's true. We know how to make something. Well, look, out of nothing. Look, we'll probably end up out here. Watch. That wouldn't surprise me fucking either, like, dude. Well, there'd be no point. So anyway, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Okay, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But at the same time, uh, we should definitely go hang out with that gentleman. Okay. Shout, shout out to you, sir. All right. Make your best. Blah, blah, blah. Make your next move your best move. I don't even know if that's a thing anymore. Well, it, anyway, it moving like, on. Let's moving move on. on. Let's move on. So, uh, what else? What else I got going on? Besides, I talk, this? I talked about Top Boy already. Uh, yeah, we talked about Top Boy. We talked about this. We talked about our feelings. Okay, he has to make it fucking awkward. It's not awkward talking yeah, about you your... You made it it's fucking like, awkward. I'm, it's not awkward talking about your feelings. Uh, no, no, man. you made it awkward by re, re saying we were talking about our feelings. I was talking about my feelings. Does that make you feel better? I mean, I'm not saying I wasn't talking about my feelings. I, I talk about my feelings all the, all the time, but people... Do probably, you think we're too, like... Oh, no. Uh, uh, no, 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 uh, fuck uh, that. Uh, uh, we're not going... <laughs> I'm not going where you think you're going with that. Uh, do you think we intimidate people, Jared Smith? Oh, that was that was going to be your question? Yeah. Like, so, uh, like, we were talking about how people are dishonest and they lie and this. And, and we're not perfect. I'm not saying I'm the most honest. Like, I try to be as solid as possible. Uh, so, okay, think, so here's, think, what, here's what I would ask you. Why do you think we would intimidate people? Like, like who? Well, not, not, in, a, like, not in a bad way. I, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I, I want to, I, I don't understand what, like, what are you saying? I, I think what I'm saying is, is and maybe intimidate is not the, or maybe that I was kind of like leading that Can, way. Yeah, yeah, okay, 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 hold on. 
So we we do our thing. This I guess goes back to the confidence cocky level kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. And sometimes I'll speak to people that I see every so often and this, this, and that. And then later on, I may hear, I may hear, it's like, uh, you have you ever heard yet you're like kind of an intimidating person? It's like okay. That you know. That's my that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, what does that mean? Well, I don't know. That's why I was asking you. No, um, I've I've been told that I was an intense person on this show, so like I don't I don't know what like what does that mean? Like how am I intense? It's like yeah, I'm intense. I'm passionate. Um, I'm not out here trying to intentionally hurt people. Yeah, I might have the occasional like I have ADHD. Part of that shit, and I'm not making excuses. Part of that shit is having a hard time. Managing your, your emotions, emotional regulation yeah. is a difficult thing for people with ADHD. So, yeah, I have my outbursts every now and then, depending on how frustrated I am or how, how much stress I'm under. Like, well, I don't, I don't want to say that. I guess that could be stress. But usually in stressful situations, I'm calm. You know, I'm probably the most calm person. Like, while everybody else is freaking out, I'm like, what do we got to do? To fix this and get out of this situation. Yeah, like when we thought we were gonna, di- or when I thought we were gonna die at Nats Park, and you're like, "Yeah, I'm okay." Yeah, I was and cool. I'm like, I'm fucking laying under a seat like this. Yeah, I'm, I was like, I'm gonna die in the outfield. Because, you know? like, in, in those type of situations, like, look, I gotta fucking have my fucking faculties. I gotta be like, all right, boom, where's the gunfire come? That's the first thing I thought about. That they're saying they're somebody's shooting. Where's the gunfire coming from? That way, I know I don't want to go in that direction. Didn't hear anything. So I'm like, well, I see everybody's running that way. I need to go. Oh, I wanted my coat really bad that day. So anyway. I, yeah, I, don't forget my jacket. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> no, but you ha- you got to understand. So you were in the restroom, okay? And when We you told have, this story before. Yeah, I know, I know. But at the same time, it's like, dude, when you have a mass group of people running at you in your direction, it's like, oh, yeah. something bad is happening. Yeah. Okay. And so my, obviously, human instinct is like, Oh, something bad is, let's get the fuck out of here. I don't fully agree. Uh, well, yes. Human instinct. The norm. Uh, fuck. Um, fight, or, fight or flight. Yeah. That's what that is. Mm-hmm. Now, if everyone starts to fucking run, that's the lemming shit. And I've always been against the lemming like philosophy. You know how, yeah. you know how lemmings they yeah, push yep. each other off the edge or whatever. Yeah. I've always been against that because... That's detrimental to the entire community. Like, if I fucking run with everybody else, we're all just running for the sake of running. That's not helping anything. I'm. I guess I'm more the type of person that's like, let's figure out what the situation is before we decide we're gonna go where everybody else is going. And I, that's kind of my philosophy of life. Is like, I don't want to go down the same path that everybody else is going. We do not. I don't. But yeah, I, I'm just saying like. I, I've always, and I told this before, like, I remember when I first started training jujitsu, and I was with somebody, and they were like, you always doing something different. Okay, do you want me to be, why do you want me to be like you so bad? Yeah. Is it because, see, that's where the intimidating thing is. That goes back to what we were talking about. Uh, yes, yes, I, I like why where do this you is want, going. You want me to be like you because you're not doing shit. Now, the fact that we do this show week in and week out, that can be intimidating to people because it's like, how are they still doing this? Like, I wish I could do it. Or, but yeah, that, that's when they're, they, they're, they're upset because you're doing it. Because you're, you're still doing it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, fuck. Like, so, and they, so they see this type of confidence, again, back to what we were talking about, that, that, which in turn to them looks like cockiness because they are not doing what they want to do or they wish they could do, if that makes sense. And I'm not just talking about the podcast. I'm talking about in general. Yeah. When people see you doing something that they wish they could do or they want to do, yeah, they feel some type of way. Does that make sense? No, it actually makes 100% sense. A hundred cents, a hundred percent. And, and we're, and I guess, this, I guess that's the theme of the show right now is, is because Cause now I'm thinking about doing the stand up comedy shit. Like, I, and I haven't run into this a lot. A lot of people say, "Oh, I wish I could do it," but 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 I haven't run into any hate 
yet, but I'm not big enough to the point where I can even get that. And if I did, I don't care because at that point, I, the confidence comes in. Hold on, hold on. The confidence comes in and it's like, yo, you ain't on my level. And you'll never be on my level because you're fucking sitting there hating on me instead of doing what you say you want to do. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, so I agree, man. Like, so the term, I don't like using the word hater. Like, I, 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 I didn't say hater. I no, said no, no. hating on. Hating on, okay. But that's the same principle. Well, yeah, so like I've never been a fan of that word. Uh, personally, mm-hmm. because we all have different perspectives on certain things. But as I've gotten older, there are unfortunately people in this life that truly are miserable. Okay. Like, yeah. I'll give you a very good example. Uh, Don't name uh, names. No, no, no. There's no names involved. Uh, I would say maybe about a month ago. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, before I had these nice shades, all right, I had my, my other shades. Yeah. Um, I went up to our local place, Tortuga Verde, saw a couple friends. And, oh, yeah. Yeah, and this woman, um, who I don't know at all. That, that's pointless. Yeah, 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 Insulted my glasses. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. And I shrugged it off. I was like, oh, you're the guy with the goofy glasses. Yeah. I was like, okay. And they're friends with some mutual friends of ours. I was like, they're like, oh, hey, this is RJ, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, hey, nice to meet you. And this woman uh, had sand in her fucking vagina, dude. Like, for, <laughs> for the lack of a better term. Like, I'm not lying, dude. Like, no, I I've, you. I, I've never, you know me, man. I get along with everybody I meet. I've never had somebody I don't know just blatantly disrespect me. And I was like, okay, cool. Can I, can she, I ask you something about that situation? Sure. Um, she, when she said that, do you think she had seen the show before? No, not at all. And how, I was, do you, how do you know, though? I don't, but, exactly. I've, but I've never seen this person. It doesn't matter. That's true. That's true. Just because you haven't seen somebody doesn't mean they haven't seen this show. That's fine. But if, if, if she, you I think feel all like, the people who you talk to are the only ones who watch the show, there are other people who watch. They're lurkers and they won't say anything. They won't comment. But there's a lot of people, who, a lot more people that watch than we know of. I just feel like if that was the case, then... Maybe she wouldn't have insulted my glasses. Uh, my, no, my, no, 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 no. I, I hear what you're no, saying. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Uh, I'm listening. I'm you're, listening. You're, I'm, you're, I'm listening. You're making me feel. You're making. You're making it seem like I'm b- being combative with you. I'm trying to help. No, you, no, no, I'm no, trying no. to help you understand the situation. If she, in fact, did see the show, maybe and and maybe she liked it, and she sees you out with the glasses on, and she recognized you. It was like, oh, you're the guy with the goofy glasses. I'm just saying, I don't know for sure, but this is the scenario that's going on in my head right now. Because why would a random person say that to anybody? Because you, you weren't there long enough for, for her to even be seeing you that much, right? Yeah, no, I was probably there for like maybe half hour, 45 okay. minutes. So maybe, hold on, I'm not done. All right, all right, all right, I'm listening. Maybe she saw the show before and maybe she liked it and she said, okay, that's the guy with the goofy glasses. Maybe she wanted you to respond a different way because she has formulated this opinion in her head about you because of the show. Okay. I think that's fair. But I was also there when I heard the the random ass animosity in her voice. Um, And it's like, okay, cool. Like, well, I'm this person gonna... was also three sheets to the wind. Cause I saw when I was walking up as they were leaving. Yeah. Me. Yeah. So again, you know, I, we know what it's like to deal with drunk people. I know you know, especially working a door, oh you know, for being security for so long. Um, but at the same time, it's like, like, why are you coming at me like this? But again, I, you know, I try to be a gentleman. And it's like, all right, this person's obviously drunk. And then I go back inside, and then her, her, her uh, significant, significant other, other, her partner, whatever, her whatever partner you want to call, it. tries to get in my face. Oh, geez. like he tries to. He literally walks up to me. What did you say to my wife? I said. I didn't say shit to your wife, dude. I said, she insulted me. And then our mutual friend said, hey, this is RJ. He's cool. And I even tried to break the ass. I was like, hey, man, I got no problem with you. But if you want a fucking problem, I will. Like, no Because my boy, the brown belt, is walking up right now. So I'm yeah. Like, no, <laughs> I'm just no, joking. No, 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 no. And, and I wasn't, dude, I was not trying to instigate anything. I was just kind of like, why are these people acting like this? It's like, oh, they're fucking drunk, dude. And the, the guy was drunk as fuck too why do you think i don't like hanging around 
drunk people like that anymore. Because working at the door for so long, like... Well, I don't blame you, but again, I, the, I've, I, we go places and we get a lot of love, man. I, I, you know, I, I we get a lot of love. So it was I just de- super random to me. That's I, all. I developed... Okay, so let's put it this way. I get it. People can be two different people when they're sober and when they're drunk. But working that door, there was... And, and and I'm cool with a lot of what some people nowadays, because I've gotten to further know them since those days. Okay. But I would see people and I would see them in that state acting the way they did. And I was like, I can't be around that type of person. Or I don't want to be around that person because they're just sloppy. Drunk and belligerent drunk. and all yeah. that other shit. Yeah, I got you. So I formulated, I'm not going to lie. I formulated a lot of opinions about a lot of people by working there for as long as I did. Yeah, it's, uh, no, but again, like, I, I guess the reason that, you know, the whole story in general, I brought it up is because, like, look, man, like, we, we do the show, we, 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 we go to the same local places all the time, a lot of people know us, I do, I don't know anybody that doesn't really show us love. Like, you know, I know there are some show people you love. They don't show me love. Uh, well, shit. I don't know. That's besides the point. But but what the point is, is that we should not have to go into the same places that we go all the time in some random person who man, woman, whomever, child, you know, whatever it is, comes up to you and they just blatantly disrespect you. It's I, I, it's it's, I, I it's unnecessary. Again, it's it's, it's, it's I, unnecessary. I, I, again, I think you took it. I, I didn't wanna, take it the wrong way. I didn't say this woman was rude. Let me finish. All right. You take it with a grain of salt. You know where you're going and you know where you're at. You know what the state of these people is going to be. And I've done it several times. I'm like, look, you cool. I just know where you are in my, again, going back to the hierarchy. You cool. Like, I don't have a problem with you, but guess what? I know where you are in my hierarchy of life. Yeah. Fuck off. I mean, I wouldn't say fuck off to their face, especially in that situation, because then then it escalates, yeah. and you know. All, but it's yeah. like, you know what? You have a nice night, and then go on about your business. I mean, that's basically what I did. Yeah, uh, so I was given the I was, given, I was given the finger. So and, what? Uh, yeah, I, I don't care. Fuck dude. her. She she wouldn't even remember the next day. Yeah, I'm, Bro, stop, again stop doing that. What this? As I'm talking, you're oh, mimicking. Whoa, whoa, again. no, no, I'm not mimicking you. No, I'm I, just thinking I hear. out loud. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally sitting here. You, <laughs> like you don't even know what I'm saying. I'm listening. Yeah, you're listening, but you're trying to say what I'm trying to well, say. I'm, back I'm just to having. You. I'm drunk. We've been drinking for a while. I'm not drunk. I'm a little. Well, I'm, I, no, I'm not drunk, but I'm I'm smoothed out from the night before. I'll tell you that much. Oh, jeez, that's just all of it returning. That's what it is. <laughs> it probably. So my bad. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. I was coerced. So, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening to episode 128, 128 episodes of this Mad Scientist Lab podcast. As always, it is I, RJ, the pizza guy with his fancy Fairfax County t-shirt on, along with Jared, the visual mad scientist. Motherfucker is going to be able to find everything about you online. Well, I'm not a hard person to find. Clearly. uh, Clearly. And... uh, Real quick before we go, big shout out again to Hayfield's basketball team. Congratulations on the state championship. 32 and 0. 32 and 0. I wonder if I can find that picture and put that up. Yeah, please, please. Uh, congratulations to those young men. No, the picture that I took early. Holding the three of the 32. The three. Uh, okay. Well, I, hopefully you have the three of the 32. And and, and Carlos had the, uh, the trophy in the middle. He was the dash in the middle. All right. The dash in the middle. Who doesn't like the dash in the middle? So shout out to you guys. You are fucking awesome. As always, like, share, comment, subscribe, be safe, and we will see you guys next week. Thank you for listening, and we are out. Peace. Deuces. Hell. I'm going to hit you so hard you won't see nothing. Ever, 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 ever. That was good. Audio skulls all day, all day. The merit science is the bread. 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 You can't have an opinion on something that you haven't even tried.
Exactly. The, the, the merit scientist.